Australia, we call it national service. Clear bomb that's ever used that in combat. Bloody, it um, happened in the Nangarhar province, which is on the border with yeah. Pakistan. Yeah. Joining me now by phone is Marcus Weisgerber, the you global business editor of Defense One. Happened. Marcus, this is nicknamed the My mother of all bombs. What can you tell us about it? Well, Dana, it is the most powerful. It's not the largest. It's actually so, heavier bomb. Yeah, yeah. It's the most powerful bomb. Same way, folks. Agent Orange have been all over again. Why are they getting away with it? See, because most of us are dying off. Targets that are most of my generation, about half of my generation, is already gone. And we were the last of that generation that would remember Agent Orange. You guys need to take up the fucking mantle now. And you guys to start fucking pushing the, the fucking thing. You can trials are the same fucking thing. And if you don't think they're the same fucking thing, and think that the of eleven tons of TNT in its warhead. Why did it need that amount of power? And believe the shit that they're telling you. Ah, it's what we see. What we see. What we see for years. What the Taliban has done is they. Uh, burrow themselves in caves. We've seen this. Yeah, the uh, You're a fucking idiot. Iranians are developing nuclear weapons. And just U.S. militaries as a whole tend to bury all of their uh, important uh, sensitive activity below ground. So because if you believe that chemtrails, when the modification, and it's just they get through, they at a grand of fucking scale. I know this was the right, I was, this I was was asking some questions. I asked maybe that that some questions the answer, to the people. Was there more to the decision into why this was the first time it was used? Well, um, the, the, it, 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 the, it, it, the, it, I can work it, with it in my reality, but in every reality. Hey, it's UFO Jane from TexasUFOs.com and the weird. This in late January and February. Check out some screenshots to Also in February. Another unknown launch contrail um, from February 15th is, are chemtrails real? Are these, you can do some research online, of course we have crop dusting planes to compare to, um, here's a great article that you can use to literally do side by side comparison, typically chemtrails are thicker, they break up as much as con. like I said, I, I have some trouble, so I'd really rather just pose it to to you guys have you seen chemtrails in your neighborhood is there a rhyme or reason or season to these things what is their purpose what could they be spraying us with um or are these just condensation trails left behind by jets that are having way too much fun um i want to end on this thought isis cave and the number of people that would have been below ground but what else can you tell us about isis ISIS's major fucking difference, and you just jumped all well, the way we, fucking we, back we've to been these images. Since, since, uh, since uh, right after 9/11, same been images. Agent Orange, same fucking thing. Look at them, folks. Open your fucking because this is what you're facing now. You are now. Is that ISIS is now spreading uh, more throughout the region, and that has weighed into decisions on, on keeping the next reality, the new age in Orient. What about those U.S. Huh? forces in Afghanistan? Give us a sense of what the presence is right now. It's obviously changed over the last year. Well, sure, there, there's still several fa thousands of, of, of troops there, mainly special operations. And if you don't start uh, opening your fucking military right now, it is oh, there. Constantly undergoing uh, force posture. Guys, oh, your children uh, are soon going to wind up. Now, see, these are all the Trump administration now just coming in. The, this is what they talk about. They're uh, starting to get into um, chemical trial. Marcus Weisgerber, the global business editor. Disease. They call them Thank you, Marcus. Thank you. Or the chem flu caused by all these things in this reality. But now, I please, if you've got kids in the room and you don't want your freaking because here's the images, right? But you show your children these images yourself, right? This is what Agent Orange to the people of Vietnam, Vietnam. So to the children of soldiers, 
and also killed a lot of soldiers. And this is a result of Agent fucking Orange. Soldiers are still dying and and things like that. Like, it's scary, folks. It's fucking scary. This is what I mean. Um, yeah. There's studies and things like that. And then you look at what diseases that we've got today. This is a, this one's a Vietnam vet. Do you know this same condition? I've had that condition. I've had that same condition. Uh, and that's a that's from Agent Fucking Orange. I've had it. Not in this reality, but a couple of realities ago, I had to suffer through it. Went through a very time. I'm worse off. I can tell you now, folks, if you continue to let this fucking happen, see, Americans affected by it, Australians affected by it, English were affected by it. Look up, folks, Agent fucking Orange. If you don't look Agent Orange up and keep this alive, need to get your you need to teach your fucking children about agent fucking orange you need to stop chemical trials you need to stop them now before my generation is gone because they're just gonna get away with it and you here silly fucks are gonna believe everything they tell you oh we just modifying the weather no they're fucking modifying you to put you six fucking feet under and I haven't made a video like this in a long fucking while. It needs to be fucking made, folks. This video needs to be made. You need to make people realise, everybody, that Agent Orange was a killer. Kevin Trails. Are a killer. And they're killing us all over again. You don't realise that soon. You're going to be the one. هیچ چیزی در اینجا از آسیب و دور نمانده است چنان که تا چند صد متری محل پرتاب بم و ویرانه می ماند. چندین تونل و مخفیگاه داعشیان در اینجا در روستای اسدخیل